today I am doing this again. I'm hoping that I can finally get to see my parents in China. Even that meeting has to be a prison visit for my parents. Uh, how devastating it will be uh, and painful it will be for my parents, I can, it's beyond my imagination. of the Tiananmen Square massacre. They don't want any incident like that. Even he is the, uh, on the wanted list. If it is any, in any other country, a most wanted person walk into his own embassy overseas, requesting, uh, uh, turning himself in extradition back to country, his own country, it will be accepted. But when come to China, it seems the world has get used to the absurdity and we took it. We accept the fact. Thank you, thank you for coming. Yeah, they're petrified. Chen Guangcheng is a hero, and he has been persecuted for his heroic act. And then everybody in the world should embrace him, welcome him, and provide assistance. That would be in, that would including me to give him a, give him advice for him to be safe to be uh, uh, to be uh, free from persecution. Three years. Okay. Well, <laughs> hopefully not. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Again, yes, yes, yes. I guess this is as close as I can get. Again, I. I'm calling the number on the plate. Disappointing. Nobody again. is um, and then I wish you, I hope you, the media, or friends of, of the, in the world can ask the Chinese government for me. The situation in China and human rights and the abuse has reached to an unprecedented level. Uh, and then I would say the United States and then the Western democracy led by the United States should share a piece of blame uh, for the situation because it is U.S. and then the Western democracies that has hold this policy, what I call it appeasement uh, to China. Oh.